Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to another episode from Dalbeck. This is episode 3 and today we are gonna finish the entire village. If you enjoyed today's episode, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't. It is the best way of showing support to what I do and all the time and effort I put into these videos. So as I mentioned, today we are building uh, the rest of the village that contains a bakery. Uh, the feast hall and some kind of temple is kind of combined. Uh, it's gonna look pretty cool. I'm gonna show you that later. And then we're also doing a lumber mill, which is, uh, if you've seen the previous two episodes, we've talked about that. It's uh, kind of the main feature of uh, Dalbeck, uh, which is the lumber mill of uh, basically the entire village is built around the mills and providing the capital with lumber from here. So. Uh, the lumber mill is very essential for Dalbeck, so I'm very good to finally be building that. As well, in today's episode, we are building a lot of the stuff surrounding uh, the houses here. As I've said, we're finishing the village, so what we're doing is just building some roads, some small bridges here and there. Uh, we're adding a little gatehouse uh, to get uh, in, in the northern part of the village. We're adding a small city center where we're gonna have some public speaking areas, some uh, notepads or areas to have you will like board notice boards I guess uh, and just uh, like farms here and there some trees some bushes uh, small things just to make it feel alive and I just really feel that Overall, uh, Dalbeck is just propped with these minor details here and there, uh, which makes it feel alive and uh, feel unique in a way. Really, just setting this, yeah, very distinct Dalbeck vibe, which is really cool. Some of you guys have been suggesting that I do a Jarl's house uh, or some kind of castle in this style. And I was debating, kind of just wanted to do Dalbeck, a small little uh, village. But I'm kind of thinking of I might do that, like a Jarl's house or a, a chieftain's uh, palace or something. Just like a small castle, fortified building uh, up in the mountains. So maybe we'll see that for another episode. But now, let's finish off the time lapse and get on with the first person point of view part of the video. Just look at this overview here over Dalbeck. If you want to check this out for yourself, this flyby, check out the information in the description for the server IP and all the stuff you need to get uh, to this place. Uh, but let's get on with actual tour here. Uh, the like this area here is what we've been working on in the yeah past two episodes, and then all of this happening over here is brand new to you guys. Uh, unless you've been stalking me on the server, there are some of you guys that do that. So if if you have, you, you probably have seen this, but if you haven't, this is all brand new. And uh, so what we have is, uh, we have this bigger building here, like, um, yeah, combination of houses here, which is meant for a bakery. And then we have this one, which is the feast hall, community feast hall for uh, the village. And there's also like some areas to pray and such in here. So it's kind of a combination. Um, and then... The lumber mill is all the way in the back here, uh, on the river here, and it's looking fantastic. So, uh, yeah, there's also like a bridge we added here to get over this little river here, and there's two paths that are leading on both sides of the river here. And you can kind of see that on the map here, there's like two rivers flowing down, and one going up, and then eventually like maybe connect up to the mountains here. I don't know, but it's just cool, it looks... Uh, nice and filled out now, I think. The way it is with uh, the houses and the farms and such. And overall just starting to really come together. So let's start with the lumber mill, shall we? And then just move throughout the new builds. Um, so here we have the lumber mill. It's inspired by the one in uh, Riverwood, I think it's called, in Skyrim. Uh, just like, yeah, some similarities. Uh, it's it's a very different mill, but but uh, yeah, it's it's... Yeah, somewhat based on it, I guess. Uh, so there's like a ramp here to bring up the logs. And then we have this, uh, the saw here, which is obviously driven by this wheel here. Uh, so it's hydro powered. And we have this saw here. And then using the item frames, I was actually able to kind of squeeze in. So this is, there's no block here. I should probably do something below here, in fact. Uh, maybe I'll do that after the video. But 
Yeah, it kind of looks like it's... Yeah, like a full block situation here. So use that to bring the logs over here, cut them up into planks. And then we have uh, this ramp here for taking them down. Like that. And then in the front here, there's like piles of planks and, and stuff. Like that. So one thing I might want to do in the future is to have patches of like these areas here. Where we make it look like uh, the forest has been chopped down. Because uh, there are some forests still here, but maybe some of the plains uh, would have been forest in the past. So we can have like uh, stumps like this. Just leaving the trunk behind like so. So maybe we can do some of that if, in the future. Let me know down below if that is something uh, you want to see. And then over here we have uh, the gate. Uh, one of the gates going into the village. It's, it's not like a super protective one. Because obviously there are ways to get in here. You can kind of climb over the mountain. There's bridges to get on here. So it's just like, hello, who are you? Uh, okay, come in, kind of deal. It's not a, like a big gatehouse, but it's a gate and the flag of Dalbeck is hanging up here or the Dalbeck colors. Um, and this just takes you into this place, which uh, is just packed with trees and atmosphere and, and I'm loving it. So um, this building here is, as I said, the bakery. So. It's like a combined building here. Uh, we have, uh, well actually let's just start from an edge and go through the building here. So the little bridge goes over the river here. Uh, so there's many ways into this, but one of them is here. There's like this little plateau. It's, it's just cozy, I really like this area. And then there's like a backyard thing where um, the baker and stuff can wash themselves, hang out from clothes. Um, there's like a separate little back thing. So the idea is that there are two families running the bakery here. So we come in here, we have uh, the family living room of one of the families. And then a uh, fireplace and stuff. A little kitchen area. And then there's a staircase going up to uh, the living quarters where we have the bedrooms. Or the master bedroom here. So that's really cool. And... Then we have a ladder going up all the way up here where we have some mats for the kids to sleep on. And that's essentially this uh, building here. There's some storage and some uh, fireplaces here around to make, make it warm. You know, it's, it's very cold up here in the north. So that's pretty neat. And then we have this little building here which is just like a storage area for flour or grains and such. Uh, and just tools and... Yeah, just like a tool shed or resource shed, I think, would make the most sense here. And then we have this other additional building. As you can have, we kind of have some cool trees and stuff as well in here. Really like that. Uh, and it's just like a nice and overgrown, I think. This one here is the storage for the finished baking stuff. The breads and cakes and stuff. So, um, yeah, this is just like shelves to store them on. Uh, and then you could bring that out to the front where we have a little area to sell them. So I'm going to show you that eventually. Um, but yeah, just like a little storage area here. You could also come in here and just buy them directly from the bakery. Uh, but in the front here we have a little uh, booth where they sell stuff as well. At least when it's summertime and stuff. And maybe they bring the things inside when it's winter. So yeah, maybe, maybe they could change it up a little bit. And then we have the main bakery in here, so this is where we have all the workstations and benches, the tools, the... Yeah, I like to use sandstone to make it look like you have some dough on the table and you're mold yeah, uh, molding it into the bread. Uh, I don't know, I, I just think it works. And then we have this massive fireplace to uh, or oven to, to bake them in. And yeah, just some bread and stuff around here. That's kind of cool. Then we have a staircase which takes us up to another family's home, I guess. So there's some sitting areas over here. And then we have the kitchen for the family right here. So it's very simple, but it gets the job done. Uh, up here we have beds for the kids, a table to sit on. Oops, falling down here. And then we have um, the master bedroom up in here. So that's really quite cool. 
and, and that is that building. So the entire bakery is kind of composed of three, four buildings, I guess. Uh, two houses, then the bakery and the basement, and then st two storage buildings. And it just makes it feel unique and not too squarish. I've been really trying to avoid that for this build where all the houses are yeah they have some weird shapes and angles to them all over the place to just make them feel more personal give them more of a character i guess um then we have the center here we have this uh, board here no notice board thing uh, we have some banners hanging um i don't know it just looks cool <laughs> uh, and then some trees and then we have this area which is you can use it for public speaking but it can also be like published punish Public punishment, that's a hard word to say, or two hard words to say after each other. Uh, like, yeah, you'd put people on here. I can't quite remember what it's called, but uh, you'd stand here and people can throw apples and tomatoes on you um, if you did something wrong. Um, so yeah, just, just kind of a cool little thing. It breaks up the, the flatness of the village and adds some character to the, the village. And then we have some farms, we have a cabbage farm and then a wheat farm that is being collected up here. So that is kind of cool. And then we have a little shed here for selling the cabbage and stuff. And that takes us to the feast hall, which is probably the coolest building of Dalbeck. It's uh, it's massive. It's much bigger than the other ones. Uh, but I think it works. It's uh, it's like a community build where, where the entire community would meet up and have maybe feast once a week or celebrate holidays or something. Uh, what I really like about this is the different roof angles. So we have this little porch area where we have uh, like slab uh, steepness, like uh, 22, and a, 22 and a half degrees, I don't know. And then we have 45 degrees here. And then we have like the steeper roof up there. So we have like all the different roof angles and together it just makes it feel um, special and just adds a lot of character to it. In the back we also have this little extension which is for a stair and also like a part of the temple part of the building here. Uh, also like these um, the use of the well supports they add like that. Um, I can't remember what it's called but it's very common in Nordic architecture to have these uh, rugged lines or borders below roofs um, and beams and stuff like just for detailing so yeah it just adds a cool little detail to this so basically we have this staircases on either side here so it's symmetrical which takes you into um, the top here under the the porch then there's this door leading into here on either side and then there's the main front entrance here and just look at this look how cozy it is I guess with all the different uh, wood colors the beams and stuff I hope you guys can see all of this in the video it could be a little dark but I think it should be visible and then the ceiling is very high we have a lot of uh, yeah beam work frameworks happening up here look at that how cool that is um, and yeah just some feast hall tables up in here for people to see that and then uh, come up in here just like a little staircase which takes you to the back staircase and brings you up to the gallery here and again here you can just see the nice woodwork it just feels alive it feels supportive in a way and really like that and then all the way in the back here we have a statue for the Nordic um, religion so you can stop by here and pray before eating or just come in here and pray whenever uh, but then the main building is uh, really just like a feast hall for that. We actually have like a moose head up in here. That's really cool. Um, yeah. I think that is about it. Come on the server if you want to check it out. There's many details in here that are probably hard to really capture on camera. So uh, yeah, please do come on. Check that out. Uh, as I mentioned, I might try to do a castle up here. I've uh, been... Uh, Doing some planning, and I'll see if I can actually squeeze in a castle here. 
If so, that would be pretty cool. But if you have like ideas and reference pictures, please do hit me up on Discord or send them in the proper chats, the Dalbeck chat in my Discord, please. Uh, and I will take that into consideration uh, if I decide to build the castle there. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Really do hope that you enjoyed. If so, make sure to smack the like button. And if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigoman, and I'm out. <laughs>